Good morning. This is uh, Peter Brownlee, um, who lives outside uh, Bristol in the Chew Valley, and he has a YouTube channel called Chew Valley Films. And uh, in the uh, the channel, he sort of you know glorifies and tells us about uh, the wonders of living in and around the Chew Valley and we meet a lot of the, the people that live there and all the rest of it. But um, Peter didn't always live there. He lived in Belfast and he went all those years ago to Lisnashara High School. And Peter has done something uh, quite remarkable because he has documented uh, the history on video of Lisnashara High School. And uh, he has at least three videos uh, about Lisnashara uh, in East Belfast. Uh, at one time, uh, you know, a, a, a haven during the Troubles for so many youngsters. And uh, at one time, uh, 700 pupils went to Lisnashara. And, uh, uh, you know, he tells us its story. And it was a good school. So these uh, are Peter's uh, videos. And if you scroll down, you will just find one or two ones of local interest. This one is fascinating. I've watched this one this morning. And it's in troubled times, teaching in Northern Ireland in the 1970s. And this is a social uh, history and documentary. It's, it's very, very good. If you want to understand what was going on in 1970s East Belfast, you know, this, this is a, a, a very, very good entrance in to uh, what life was like on actual, actually on the ground. This is the second video uh, here. The Listen to Shara Story, Part 1. Life to 79. And this is Brian Houston. So this is the first part, and it's nearly 50 minutes long. Um, and there's you know, walk rounds of the school and interviews of teachers and, and whatnot. Uh, and this details from the 50s or right through the 60s. Lisnashara will be remembered most of all as the school that international footballer George Best went to, but as this film reveals, for many other pupils it was also the best school. And there's a second part to this, and there's Kim Morton, the Lisnashara story. Uh, 1970s until 2008 and again it's about 50 minutes Nineteen seventies Belfast, very troubled place. This directly affected the life in this Lisnashara school, but the school always remained a positive and calm place with enthusiastic and inspirational teachers. It was one of the first schools in the country to introduce work experience. Lisnashara gradually started to decline as the demographics of the local area changed and pupils had to be brought in from other areas. The last days of the school were movingly recorded and we see the gates being closed for the very last time. You know, it, uh, shows an awful lot of the old teachers and, and whatnot. Really, really good. 
and all the reminiscences. So if you're interested in East Belfast history and if you're a former pupil of uh, Listener Shara, this video is for you. Listener Shara's high school. Gone, but not forgotten. Check these videos out.